Square dropped the demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth a couple of weeks ago and it's really great. I don't know if other developers are doing this, but these long demos are definitely the way to go in my opinion. Early last year, they dropped the demo for Final Fantasy XVI, which is one of my favorite games of last year, and it was almost two hours long. Like I was really wondering when that shit was going to end. And this game is the exact same way, even though I expected it this time. Now I never played the first game of the remake, so don't get on me, I know I should play it, and I bought it a long time ago and I still don't know why I haven't played it. So I had to do some research and I found out that the game is made in a way where you don't have to play the first part, so I really appreciate them for that. So this video is just for people like me who never played the first part but really want to see if they want to get into Final Fantasy VII. The gameplay is really different and unique to me. You can switch between party members mid combat and you're not just stuck on cloud. I've seen gameplay of the first, and this is the exact same way. I remember reading they did this so it can be a mix between real-time combat and turn-based combat and stay somewhat true to the OG Final Fantasy VII, while also accommodating to people who like real-time more. In the demo while fighting, once you do enough damage, you get a bar to the commands menu and you can use magic, heal yourself, or use special attack with it. I guess this is the turn-based side of the game's combat. Speaking on the world though, it's beautiful. Certain sceneries, the cutscenes look very good, and the story in this demo was great too. Once the game started, I was literally asking myself, why did Sephiroth turn evil if him and Cloud were somewhat cool at the start? And as soon as I started, I realized that this story was going to tell it. The cast seemed pretty cool to me too. Like Cloud is a really laid back guy. Sephiroth is just too cool for everything and edgy. And... Tifa. The game didn't really go into other characters that much, but I know some of them, like Aerith, I guess that's how you say her name, and Barret. But I really just know Aerith from Kingdom Hearts, so I don't really know her Final Fantasy side. You can also do random things in the demo like playing the piano, which seems like it's going to be a big side activity in the game because of the way they described it, and it suggests that there are going to be many of them inside of the world. It also seems to be another part of this demo called the dawn of a new area in Juna. If that's how you say that word. When you hover over it, it shows the rest of the cast will be playable. And it's coming out in the upcoming update on the 21st. And I definitely can't wait to play it. So far, the game seems very good to me. And I want to see more of the world and finally be able to experience Final Fantasy VII and see what all the hype is about. 